Hi folks, um, welcome to another video of McKinsey Photo. I'm just going to go through a quick few thoughts of the Fuji GFX 100S. I've had it for a couple of months now. Um, it's my first up-to-date um, medium format digital. Um, I think it's a fantastic piece of kit. I, before I had the Hasselblad HD4 when I used to do commercial work, but now, as you know, with my situation, I'm not working. Um, more about that later in the video. But yeah, um, I've not got a bad word to say about it. Obviously, there are some issues with the camera, like I've said about the app not working correctly and stuff. Um, and because it's Fuji and it's a relatively new system, buying second-hand lenses, they're still at really high prices. But the amount of adapters available is amazing. I mean, you can adapt it to Fuji, no, uh, the, you can get an EF adapter and have a whole range of Canon lenses, but you do lose a little bit at the corners because it is bigger than full frame on that sensor. It's not traditional medium format size, but I mean, you've got 102 megapixels, so I can't see any issues with printing as big as you want. Um, I still believe in filling the frame I mean, you can crop in with this one, but you shouldn't be cropping in that much. You should still be thinking about your shot and going and trying to fill your frame as, as with the subject that you want rather than cropping way, way down. I understand it's different for sports photography and stuff because it's fast shooting, but this camera I really don't think was designed for shooting sports. I think it was designed for portrait sessions, um, landscape and um, those kind of things, things where you've got a bit more time. I think it's a fantastic piece of kit and it's, it is versatile. I mean, I'm shooting this video on it. The native lenses, there isn't a lot of them yet. They are very expensive, but they are also very good. Um, it's, to me, I love having the aperturing back on the lens where it should be. Um, and having my two dials so I can change the ISO and I can change the shutter speed and I can change the aperture manually. It makes a big difference to me having it set up that way. I don't have the aperture ring set on one of the dials in the camera. I use that for ISO and shutter speed mainly. Um, and I always just set the aperture manually. I know that's a that might be a strange sort of scenario for some people, but that's what I started out with. Like, um, if you give me a moment. I started out with this, um, my first uh, film SLR. Um, I got this when I was must have been about 16, saved up the money and bought it myself. Um, it's a Casina um, C8, sorry, it's a Casina CT1A. It's a Pentax K1000 copy um, and it served me well for a long, long time. Does everything you need it to do, you've got your Shutter speed here, aperture ring, and you set your ISO when you put your film in. Obviously, there's no change in the ISO while you're going through a roll of film. What you have is what you've got to work with, and you've only got a few, a certain amount of frames. This got me through, I think, three years, three years of college as well before having to do anything like getting a newer, fancier camera. And even then, I didn't need to. It's just because I wanted to. This is a fantastic bit of kit, just like this camera is but it's a new age and I understand that people have moved over to digital pretty much predominantly now. There is a thriving film network um, around the world and I'm really glad that films are still being produced because I still use this just for like family snaps and stuff. I've not done a project on film for a while. I'm not saying that I won't, I might do it in the future, but for now I am taken with the Fuji GFX 100S. Um, I'm sorry for rambling. I could go through the whole list of specs, but in general, it's, for me, it's more about the feeling of the camera. It actually feels like a proper camera rather than this just hunk of plastic that you're taking images with. I, it's, it's strange to say that I feel the connection like I did with this. Um, for a long time, you kinda, I got no connection with a lot of cameras. I mean, I went through Pentax, uh, Nikon, before I settled on Canon for, must have been about 15 years. And a few of those cameras I got the connection with, a few of those cameras I didn't. Um, but with this camera, I feel like I've got that connection back. 
and I think it's a lot to do, a lot to do with the way they've set up the camera, being able to choose where your dials are, having the aperture ring on the lens, and just making it feel it's it's hard to describe having that connection with the camera. You don't feel the way I the, sorry I'm jumbling up my words. Um, the way I used to say to people when I look through the viewfinder. It's like looking into a different world. You, you just get to be completely yourself and you fo everything else falls away and you're just one with the camera and you're just in this different world. It's, you're in the zone, basically. Um, and I love that about photography. It's what hooked me almost three decades ago. That's hard to say. Three decades. Um, I don't feel that old, but apparently I am. Um, but yeah, that's truly what made me fall in love with photography. So when you look through the viewfinder and everything else falls away and you're just creating what you see in front of you. You're using what's there to create the image you want. And with the Fuji GFX, I've got that feeling back. Um, that's, I mean, I, I want to start up a YouTube channel before. You'll see those maybe one or two videos before. But when I got this, I wanted to really get into it and I have that connection with the camera again. It's very difficult for me actually sitting in front of the camera. I'm not good talking in front of the camera. I tend to waffle on forever about different things. But this is, it's not a review. Um, this is basically my impression of having the camera for the first couple of months. It does everything I needed to do and much more it's got all the settings you'll ever need. I don't shoot sports, I don't shoot events. Um, it's a fantastic portrait and landscape camera in my opinion. People could use it for wedding. I'm sure people will use it for weddings and I'm sure some people will go to sporting events with it. Um, it has a fantastic sensor. The color profiles that you've got in it are amazing. Um, but yeah, it's just a fantastic piece of kit. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see some of the images I've created. I don't know, so if you go to my website. But yeah, that's just my couple of months in impressions of the Fuji GFX. I'll be running with the system for a long time to come and building up my lenses. I've only got two at the moment. I predominantly work with the 45mm Prime. I've got the 45 to 100 zoom, but I much prefer the Prime. I think it's mainly, mainly to do with the quality of the Primes. Um, they always have the edge over zooms. But in this case, um, I think it's it's partly to do with weight and just the quality that you get. I really in, I really like the 45 mil size on that camera because it's equivalent to 35 in full frame situations. But yeah, fantastic piece of kit. Um, and just a little bit at the end, um, I do have a website. I'll put it down below, mckenziephoto.com. On there, I do have a store, and I'll give you a discount code for the store. That's running until the end of the month. And also, I do have a GoFundMe going at the moment. Um, unfortunately, I was diagnosed with cancer again. It's a secondary cancer on my liver, and I've got to go in for surgery. 